a different type of snow. In 1991, British Rail gave this reason for why they experienced severe disruptions due to the weather and the media changed it to the wrong type of snow. Since then, it's been used in the UK to ridicule pathetic excuses. Still though, what was the wrong type of snow all about? Was it actually true? Let's start out in the winter of 1990-91. There was heavy snowfall that winter in British Rail, until 1997 they handled most of Britain's passenger railways and were owned by the government, said that they had it all under control. Except they didn't. They had to deal with several disruptions to their trains and tracks. Trains were getting delayed left and right, with 8 hour delays being not uncommon. This got people angry at British Rail. On February 11th, 1991, the director of British Rail, Terry Worrell, was interviewed by James Nochte. Worrell said that they were having problems with the type of snow, to which Nochte replied with, quote, Oh I see, it was the wrong type of snow. Worrell refuted this, saying that it was simply a different kind of snow. The tabloid Evening Standard changed this quote into the wrong type of snow, and from there, several respected newspapers picked it up, including The Telegraph and The Times. Since then, the phrase, the wrong type of, has been used to laugh at pitiful excuses in Britain. Some examples include The Guardian running a headline, wrong kind of sunlight delays southeastern trains, and The Independent mentioning the wrong type of leaves. Was the wrong type of snow a legitimate excuse? As it turns out, yes, there were different types of snow. The type of snow that British Rail was ready for was sticky, wet snow. Instead, the type of snow that came was dry and powdery snow. This type of snow couldn't be cleaned up with a snowplow, instead they had to use a snow blower which chops up the snow and blows it away instead of simply pushing it aside. The dry powdery snow also got into electrical systems and caused circuits to short out, and the air vents on the trains, which were angled downwards, sucked up the snow, jamming the vents. It also got into the doors, causing those to jam as well. So there was some grain of truth in the excuse. That's how the wrong type of snow messed up British Rail. If you liked the video then be sure to subscribe and like. Thank you for watching Explained, new videos every other Friday.